Are you tired of losing all your items because you have nowhere to put them? Well, today I'm going to show you how to build the ultimate storage outpost. Start by creating a four block tall pillar out of stripped spruce logs and go ahead and create a wall of chests surrounding the pillar just like we are doing here. You need to place three rows of double chests rotating around the pillar to create the perfect square of chests. Next create a wall of strip spruce logs around the chests just like we are doing here with the corner blocks facing up. Create a four block pillar on all four corners of the square we just created. Once you have all four pillars erected go ahead and join them together using strip spruce logs right across the top. Grab some spruce stairs and place them on all corners of the pillars you just created just like we are doing here and then also on the outsides of the pillars at the bottom just like this. Now for the roof grab some dark oak stairs and place them right across one side of the top spruce log beam you just made earlier hanging over the side by one block. Do the exact same on the opposite side and create a stair like pattern with dark oak stairs just like this. Place it one upside down, then one right side up, and so forth, meeting right at the top in the middle to create a triangular shaped roof. Next, connect the very tops with dark oak slabs and then fill in all of the space in between using spruce stairs. Make sure to include the little stair design we used on the very top, overhanging even further off the sides. Now, on the front and rear of the roof in the holes, add a spruce pillar through the middle with quartz to the sides and then replace the log underneath with a single spruce stair just like this. Finally go ahead and add in some spruce trap doors around the exterior of the build just like this for that little bit of extra added detail. Now we are going to create the main circle using once again stripped spruce logs. Head out from the center of each side by 5 blocks and then create the first side of the circle. Extend it out each side by 3, then 2, then 1, then 2, then 3 again. Do that on all sides and then fill in all of the space in between using stripped oak logs in a checkered pattern. Next it's on to creating the path. Go ahead and randomly dig out a path shape out on the front of the build where you want the access to be. Fill it in randomly using stone, andesite and gravel blocks. Randomly throw down some buttons and then on the edges add in some coarse dirt, podzul and brown concrete powder. Now it's onto the farm. Go ahead and place down some spruce stairs every 4-6 to six blocks to hydrate all of the land that we are about to plow. I placed them down semi randomly making sure they were close enough to hydrate and we're going to cover the space that I wanted. If you want the farm section to be wider just make sure to place down some extra water so your farm can be larger and cover more space. Once it's ready go ahead and plow in a circle right around the base trying to keep it pretty even on all sides and then plow all of the land between the border you made and the spruce logs we put down earlier. Choose the crop you would like to use and fill in all of the land with that crop. Wheat looks the best for aesthetic purposes. Next place down a circle of logs about 2-3 to three blocks away from the farm, then a circle of oak leaves, spruce leaves and mangrove leaves. The space between the leaves and the farm, bone mill the grass to grow some grass and flowers, then place down some colourful flowers, add some fences with lanterns on top of them. Finally throw down a bunch of oak, spruce and birch saplings, wait for them to grow and then you are all done. Super easy, super simple and super beautiful. If you watched to this point you are a legend and I would appreciate it so much if you subscribed. We are trying to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the month. If you want to try out a different outpost design I made, be sure to check out this video where I created an outpost with a different unique design. I'll see you there.